Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I have had a morning and a distraction would be really nice. So I wanted to talk about new makeup releases. I haven't done this in two months and uh, yeah, there's a lot to talk about. I, in case you're curious, my morning has been a morning because my dog found a baby bunny's nest. That didn't end well. So um, I am trying to avoid having to go out there and clean that up. So let's talk about some makeup. Did I need to share that with you? Nope, sure didn't, but I wanted to just because, uh, I don't know why. Share in my pain. I love all animals and so even, I don't, I, I am not looking forward to uh, taking care of business here soon. But anyways, let's just, let me avoid it for a little bit longer and pretend that it's not happening. Uh, let's talk about some, some new releases. Okay, let's start off with ColourPop. They're duping themselves. They are releasing these five pan monochromatic palettes. Is, as you may recall, they have nine pan monochromatic palettes. So I don't know why we're doing this. I do, I mean, I kind of like the five pan aspect, but then again, I feel like with them, I don't know, I don't know. Nine pan is kind of the sweet spot. I really like nine pans. I'm good with five pans too. However, I don't want any of this. I think the swatches look really nice. It appears that there are no pressed glitters. It looks like you get two shimmers and or two to three shimmers or a satin, I don't know, and some mattes in each. Um, so it looks, it looks great. They're $10 a piece. It's creeping up there, ColourPop. Um, and I just, I don't, I, none of the color stories are really pulling me in. I like elements of all of the color stories. Some of the shimmers, are, they're just, they're really pretty, but I don't need this. So I don't feel the need to go out and make a separate purchase, but if you do, let me tell you, it's available now on their website, $10. Okay. Now they are also releasing some quads. Where are the quads? Show me the quads, here they are. These are also available now. Um, it's the Sweet Life Collection. So six quads, each one has two mattes, a metallic and a glitter metallic. So a metallic with sparkle. Okay, I think I like that. I like these, um, but I don't really want them. The one that I like the mattes from, I don't like the shimmers from. The, uh, like the mauve one, I like the mattes, but the shimmers just, they look, the same. They look like two silver shimmers or two like light taupe shimmers. Um, just no, nope, don't need it. So I'm going to skip on this. These are nine dollars each. So yeah, I don't know who you think you are, ColourPop. I think that might be everything that I'm going to talk about from ColourPop. Oh, the Lizzie McGuire collection. Did I talk about that? I'm not getting it. I didn't watch Lizzie McGuire. Um, like that was, was that popular in like early 2000s? I was already in high school. It just, I wasn't really watching Disney Channel at that point. So no, uh, I mean, it's cute. And I feel like if I did watch Lizzie McGuire, maybe I'd be into it. I don't, as far as the color story of the palette goes, I'm just, no. I do like that green shimmer that is pretty, but then you've got the mattes with the pressed glitter in it. And I, I just, I just don't want to, it looks like the blushes also have micro shimmer in them. And I don't, I'm, I'm not into it. So I'm going to, I did skip over that. Okay. We've got a new Marilyn Monroe collection with Besame Cosmetics. Oh, my God, I'm loving this aesthetic so, so much and I want it. I wanted their Mary Poppins collection too and I didn't jump on that and I really kind of wish I had. I, maybe it's still available. Ooh, 
It might be. Uh, but this is gorgeous. And I'm not like a raging Marilyn Monroe fan. I appreciate her for who she, what she was, who she was. She's, you know, she's Marilyn Monroe. She's iconic. But I'm not like, I don't have posters of her. I don't know. Maybe you don't need posters of her to want the makeup. You, you don't. Um, I will say the compact, the square compact, I have something very, very similar to that that my grandma had. And I don't know how, but I ended up with it. But it's silver and has flowers embossed on it. And it's one of my prized possessions that I don't know where it is right now. There's no makeup in it anymore. I would just use it as a mirror. Um, and then I realized that I didn't want to risk losing it. So I think it put it somewhere safe and it's super safe evidently because I don't know where it is. But um, anyway, that I think, actually that's not a, con that's a, that's a, it looks like a quad. Let me tell you what is in the, jeez, Molly, I'm rambling. Let me tell you what's in the collection. So it's a 15 piece collection. That's a lot. It looks like what... Oh. Okay, it says the Maryland's Cosmetic Valet Case, 200 limited edition. It's sold out, so don't don't think that you're going to get that. But it was four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay. Also, before I'm like not following a linear pattern here, I apologize. I do want to mention that this is based off of things found in her personal effects. Uh, I don't know if it, I'm guessing at the time that she passed. So um, this is this is like recreated stuff that she evidently owned. I don't, I don't know if it's like exact replicas. I have no idea. It says based on items from her personal effects. So I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know how legit it is you've got the the whole box is 425 you've got a mascara the coral lipstick the carnation pink lipstick the red hot red lipstick lip liner pencils eyeliner pencils rose red gloss champagne gloss white cream highlighter shut up i need this oh Oh man, see, with the Mary Poppins collection, I feel like they just, they, I don't know, they could have done more. This, this is like, this is super exciting. Uh, then you've got the Bombshell Eyeshadow Quad. Um, so, yeah, it was based on colors found in her makeup case with matte shades. The Marilyn Lashes, one set is tapered to create a cat eye look while the other lashes are long, full, and glamorous. I don't wear lashes, but I want it, why? I don't know. And then a sharpener, a black and gold adorned with Marilyn's signature. Oh my God. <laughs> Apparently I'm more of a Marilyn Monroe fan than I thought that I was when I first started talking about this. I do, I want, I want some of this. Then you've got like different sets. You've got, I go to Trend Mood and read about it. It's, um, it's all there. That's where I'm getting this information. I, I want, I want the shadow quad, even though like I don't care about the colors, I just want the packaging. Normally packaging doesn't get me. Sometimes it does. If it's heart shaped, I want it. And apparently if it's this gorgeous, I want it. I've been talking for 13 minutes. I need to, I need to, we gotta move on. Yes, I want this. It is on my wish list officially. All right, Ofra has a new highlighter in, um, celebration of earth day you've it's the mother earth highlighter i want to say it's limited edition it is 35 dollars, which is standard i think that's what their prices are typically for their full-size highlighters it's neon green to a pink shift i don't know that that would be wearable for me i'm going to skip it but i think that it's pretty and i do love the ofra highlights okay um jacqueline hill cosmetics is releasing quite a few things this, I don't know when this is releasing. It says it's revealed. Um, we've got an under eye primer. Nope, I don't need that. Uh, my, I've noticed that if I get 
too emollient under my eyes, my concealer doesn't last. So I don't know that using a primer is the best option because it's a moisturizing primer. Um, and then, so I, I tend to moisturize my under eyes at night, let it sink in over overnight. Um, there's the Bacon Brighten Under Eye Powder, the Face It Brightening and Setting Palette, a translucent setting powder and you know it's all supposed to do all this really cool stuff I don't know I'm not in the market for powders at the moment so I'm going to pass on that it looks like it is available now all right we've got a new cleanser from Glossier uh, Glossier bores me I I feel like at one point in time they were kind of exciting not because they had anything, I don't know, maybe I thought it was exciting because I had never heard of the brand before, but now I, they're old hat. Uh, but anyways, this is the Cleanser Concentrate. It's a highly concentrated cleanser that exfoliates, clarifies, and re-energizes skin in 60 seconds. A small pump feels silky. Going on skin transforms into a smooth foam. 20 bucks. Eh, I don't know. I guess maybe if I need a cleanser, but I don't see myself purchasing from the Glossier website just for that. I'm probably going to try one of the cleansers at Ulta or Sephora. Whew. Okay. Trixie Cosmetics. I don't know who Trixie is. Okay. I know that I've talked about Trixie Cosmetics on my channel before. She, they had the heart-shaped packaging things, and I was kind of interested, but then I heard that the products are crap, so I never purchased those. Um, there, she's got, how many pans is that? Tw a 12 pan eyeshadow palette, a handheld mirror, a bunch of glosses, some lippies. No, I, none of this is speaking to me, so I'm, I'm going to skip over it. But if you are interested, it looks like the eyeshadow palette is $48. The glosses are all $16. The handheld mirror is $26. You can get the entire PR box for $126. Oh, what? $150. I'm just reading stuff that isn't there. It's going to be available today, April 23rd. That is when I'm filming this. So it's available now as of the time that you see this. All right. Why can't Jo Malone be cruelty free? They're releasing these fragrances and I love the aesthetic of the packaging. It's so retro and I, I just really like it. Uh, anyway, I digress. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because I don't believe they are cruelty free. So I mean, yeah. Um, Okay, the next thing here, this is a new palette from Linda Halberg. She is a Swedish, Swedish um, makeup artist, right? Has her own makeup line. Uh, this palette looks really pretty. It's a lot of brights. It's a rainbow palette, but you've got some neutrals. I like it. I've wanted to try her um, eyeshadows for a long time. I do have one of her eye pencils and it's incredible. Um, can I? Say um anymore probably we're just gonna keep moving on uh oh there you go again anyway this I'm not in the market for a rainbow palette at the moment so I'm going to pass it is available today but on her website it's 12 vibrant shades they are all matte and it does not say what the price is Kaja has a new sponge, a sponge. It's a heart-shaped sponge. <laughs> I love heart shapes, uh, but I'm not gonna get this. I think this is gimmicky. It also looks like a butt, very much so. Looks like a butt. I don't wanna put a butt on my face. Nope, not now, not ever. Um. Anyway, it's supposed to be able to like, get into all the nooks and crannies of your face. I don't have a hard time with that. Anyway, I use the uh, Real Techniques, the orange sponge. I like that just fine. I don't need this one. 
I just don't. Okay, this one is actually interesting to me and I feel like that's kind of weird. House Labs is releasing this PH lip gloss stain. What? <laughs> so it's a gloss and then it settles into your lips and sets as a stain, I guess, sets, I don't know. Um, and then it adjusts to your specific pH. But there's one, two, three, four, five different shades. You've got like a clear one that I think just kind of turns a little bit nude pink. And then you've got an orange one that ends up being a little bit coral. I just, I, I, I want to try this. I want to try it. So, oh, let me just, let me just say, let me just say. Okay, tint is a sheer pink. Neutral is a universal clear. Primary is sheer red. Hue is sheer berry. And secondary is sheer orange. Oh, I want that one. That's the one I want secondary. I want, I don't want like opaque orange. I just want a hint of orange on my lips. Like maybe I just had an orange popsicle. That's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that I will be purchasing this. It will be available on the 27th via their website. All right, Hourglass. Hourglass has these new lippies. This is the Velvet Story Lip Cream. These look really pretty also. It says it's a featherweight lip mousse that delivers a diffused, soft, focus matte finish with a velvety texture for comfortable wear. I believe that is everything that I want in a lip. Not everything, but that is one of the types of lip products that I like. That being said, I don't need to spend $36 on it. Are you flipping kidding me? Got six different shades though. So if you do want to spend $36 on a lip product, there you go. It looks, it looks beautiful. The picture is that it is like a blurred, soft focus lip. And I like it. Okay. Um, also, let's talk about this. I'm kind of talking about things that I'm not like typically wearing a lot of, but oh well. Hollow Taco. I, I don't do my nails, okay? I keep them short. They're in terrible shape. I have a crack going all the way down my thumb. Like it's, I don't have good nails. Um, so maybe I should start painting them. I don't, maybe that would stress them out. In fact, I think it does. Like when I paint my nails, they tend to peel and they, they don't do so hot, but I also pick at my nails when there's polish on them. So I'm probably not going to get this, but I did want to talk about it because they're gorgeous. Hollow Taco is releasing the pastel rainbow collection. You guys, these are so pretty. I love the purples, I love the blues, I, lo I love every color. Maybe not so much the yellow. The yellow's fine, but it's not like really pulling at my heart. Um, but man, these are really pretty. $14 a piece or $98 for the entire collection. It just looks gorgeous. They all have this like iridescent glitter in them or sparkle, not glitter. They're not like chunks of glitter. It's, it's pretty. Okay, Illamasqua has a new launch. They've got some lippies, again, with some innovative lip products. These lip products look crazy to me, but I think they probably work. Let me tell you what you're getting. There's the color correcting bronzer for $45. I'm not gonna get that, I think that's a gimmick. I don't see how using a bronzer is going to color correct my face. First of all, I don't need to, but like if I had rosacea, typically, from rosacea that I have seen, it's not just where you put bronzer. It's your whole cheek. So like, huh, <laughs> what? I know that's, it's, that is not going to do anything. Um, don't fall for it. Uh, but then the Hydra Lip Tint, that could do something. That I think is really cool. It, they are combining shades to make a different shade and it just makes me happy. But the one that like really threw me off, there's one that has orange and teal and it makes plum. I'm not Bob Ross, so I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that orange and teal made plum, but it does. And I am very curious about that. That being said, they're $26 a piece for a lip tint. I probably don't need to get it, but 
I, um, it's on the wish list. I need to look and see if Illamasqua is cruelty free though. They may not be. Hmm. Okay. Makeup Revolution. Why do I even bother talking about Makeup Revolution? I don't know. Uh, but I wanted to talk about that. I don't talk about all their releases. In fact, usually I feel like I skip over most of them. Um, but I have something to say. They dropped the ball with this, okay? The Aristocats is one of my favorite Disney movies. I love the animation in that movie. Absolutely love it. Um, the just the whole aesthetic i love like 1920s paris yes i have no idea if it's 1920s i just made that up i don't know i don't know what decade it takes place in but they're why why is this all they did with the packaging they could have done so much more so much more this this they they really screwed the pooch on this one and so you know, I was maybe interested because of the packaging. Definitely not going to buy it. And the eyeshadow palette is just a big eyeshadow palette with a bunch of repeating shades that nobody needs. Nobody needs it. So don't, don't do it. Plus their formula is really not good. Um, but if you're curious, there are three highlighters, $8 a piece, la piece. lashes for $10. Um, lip glosses, one, two, three different kinds for $7 a piece, a $7 mirror. The eyeshadow palette is 20, which is way too much for Makeup Revolution, if you ask me. And then there's a paw brush for 12. I don't need it. I'm disappointed in how they went about it. Okay, let's talk about this. What is happening? I, makeup brands, back to the drawing board because you're running out, you're, you're getting tired, okay? KKW Beauty. No. This is the new Eye Contour Duos. You don't need this. Nobody needs this. You all have these shades. Go get a neutral palette with multiple options. Trust me. But I guess if you're a like true minimalist, but you still want to do some makeup, maybe this makes sense for you. For the majority of consumers, this is just pointless. So you're getting, it says, specially designed to sculpt and contour the eyes. These easy to use powder duos have soft and creamy formulas that blend easily into the skin using the dual ended eye contour brush. So evidently if you don't use their brush, they're not gonna blend that well. Maybe, I'm making that up, but that's how I read that. So no, they're $24 a piece. Silly gooses. And the brush is 18. The combo is 36. Then there is, oh, I guess there's a lip balm, just a plain old lip balm for 18. Do yourself a favor and go get the e.l.f. lip balm for five bucks. Okay, Hip Dot. Oh, another collaboration of something that I love, Reese's. It's one of my favorite candies. I could eat Reese's peanut butter cups. I almost said peanut butter butts peanut butter cups for I, I, every day. I could eat them every day and I'd be happy. I used to get them every time we went to the grocery store when I was a kid. My mom would get me some peanut butter cups. Oh man, ooh, I want some peanut butter cups right now. Stat. I'm not gonna go get any though. Um, anyway, I honestly think this collection is fairly ugly. I'm not crazy about orange and yellow and brown together. So I don't like the packaging. The color stories are fine, but it's not, oh my gosh, give it to me, I need it now. I will say the, the eyeshadow palette with the orange packaging, that yellow should be a more richly, like a, a, just like a deeper yellow, but it's buttercup. And I feel like it needs to be goldenrod. That's, that's my thought. Um, anyway, any hoosies. I, this is pretty. The, the one in the white packaging, I think, is pretty. I don't need this, though. But if you're curious, we've got the white chocolate palette, $16, soft neutrals and a pop of orange. The milk cho the Reese's milk chocolate palette, uh, deep neutrals and a pop of yellow. That's not a poppy yellow. That's a, that's a, a hint of yellow, 
a blip of yellow, a poof of yellow. Like that's, that's what that is. That's not a pop of yellow. Okay. Semantics, but still. Um, and then you've got some scented lip balms, a brush, a bag, plus a full set. I just, I'm no, not into it. Um, I have not purchased from hip dot. They do a lot of interesting collaborations I'll say, but I, no, I don't need it. Ooh, I am hungry. What time is, oh my gosh, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. <laughs> what do I wanna talk about? There's so much to talk about. There's so much to talk about. Is there anything that, I, let me let me list some things that I do want. Okay, Sigma. I'm probably not gonna get this, but I want it. Sigma has this new Corderosa blush palette, $49. These look pretty. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But um, I do, I, I'm, I'm very curious about this. Um, then you've got the Bloom and Glow brush set, which I think is great, but I don't need it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious about the blushes. I would like to try this. So that's one thing that I want. I'll tell you what I don't want. Another thing is that Fenty gloss balm in a pot. I don't think they got the memo that we're in a pandemic. We don't need to be putting our fingers and things and then on our lips. That's not sanitary. We're not going to do that. Oh, I just had a flashback of something that was very unsanitary that happened to me. I was sitting this morning pumping. I wake up early and I, I like, I'll do a, like a pumping session before uh, baby wakes up. And my cat tried to get on my lap. And I, I went to push them off because I've got my, my bottles here. Like, they're just, there's no room. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to write in my planner. There was no, no space for him. So I went to push, gently push bananas off of my lap. And he like stumbled a little. And when he stumbled, it like flung something wet off his backside. And it hit me in the eyeball. In the my eye now i don't know what it was but if i get an eye infection i'm gonna lose it i you can't sanitize your eyeball so i'm like there's still cat butt substance floating in my eye it has not been a good day i forgot about that until now I don't know what made me remember that. It, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I feel like I'm ruining your guys' days with my stories today. Let's go back to talking about makeup. All right, Melt, Melt, Melt Makeup is releasing this eyeshadow palette that I think looks really pretty. This is the Mary Jane eyeshadow palette. So there's a palette and three glitters. Um, I don't want the glitters, although I, I did see somebody like post on Instagram, was it glitter fallout? I think she had used them and like was rubbing her eye, like rubbing to try and get it to come off and it wouldn't budge. So that's incredible. Like if you're into glitters, I feel like you should get these. Um, the eyeshadow palette, it looks really pretty. I almost bought it. I had it in my cart for the Sephora sale and then I saw reviews. And then I took it right out of my cart because it, you know, apparently it's not, not great. So, um, it was, it was things that would irritate me. Like the shimmers are hard to pick up or like another shimmer is super, super soft and just fell all over their face. So, um, I'm going to pass, but it does look really pretty. I think if they had done a better job with the formula, uh, if the reviews had been good, I would have picked it up. Okay, this, let's talk about this. We're roasting makeup, okay? NYX, has NYX had any good releases in the last three years other than like base products? I don't think so. This is the NYX Tetris collection. So you got an 80 shade palette. Why? Nobody needs that much and it's, So many of these are replicas of each other. They're duping themselves within the same palette. 
Lord of mercy. I need a, I need a, I need, I need to take some deep breaths is what I need to do. Okay. So also, also, so if you look at the palette, it's got the Tetris shapes within it. And then a bunch of, like a bunch of, I don't understand. I don't understand. I feel like what they should, there's nothing about this that is Tetris-y. I like Tetris. Okay. I do. Um, why not group like colors with like colors and put them in the Tetris shapes and then put them in a Tetris grid in the palette? Like that is what it should have looked like. These are all of our mobs and our browns and our, like whatever color story you're going with. These are the purples and the greens and the blues and they're all together. And it should have been colorful, but like also wearable. They just totally missed the mark with this. And then there's some lippies and some eyeliners. I'm not getting any of it at all. The, the jumbo palette is $45. Uh, also, I don't think NYX has very good quality I for their eyeshadows. I really don't. Okay, next, Ofra and Samantha March collaborated. I got so excited for this release and I bought the PR box. I have not purchased a PR box ever, ever in my life. Um, and I bought it. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I filmed a review and I didn't post it because I, I am waiting for Ofer to send me a new palette. I contacted customer service and I was like, Hey, this is what I'm experiencing with this palette. I re it's not how it was described in any of the reviews. And they said, Oh, well, can you send us pictures of your palettes? So I was like, how is that going to tell you how it's performing? I don't, I don't know. So anyways, I sent them some swatch pictures and then they were like, okay, well, we're going to send you, um, the, a return label and you can send it back to us. And as soon as we know that it's coming, um, we will, we will send another one out to you. So I need to do that. And I need to see if it was a dud or if the second palette performs just as terribly, then um, I'll know that I maybe just don't really like Ofra eyeshadows. I don't know. But anyways, I did buy this. I do think the color story is beautiful. Sam did a banging job with her part of it, with coming up with the color story. I think she did great. The formula of the products, not the best. So I don't know. Um. Okay. And Obviously, the reason I bought the PR box was because I adore Samantha March. I really do. She's one of the YouTubers where I watch all of her videos. Okay, next, Huda Beauty. Why do I want these? She's releasing more collect more obsessions palettes. There's three new ones. This is the Tortoise collection. I don't really understand. I know that it's like it's the packaging is the tortoise shell. Why not call it the tortoise shell collection? Because when you say tortoise, I think that it's going to have something to do with tortoises. Tordi? What's plural for tortoise? Tortoise. The, the torties. The t tortoises is probably plural. I'm guessing. Anyway. And there's nothing uh, tortoise-y about this. So that is kind of a bummer, but I do really want it. I want the chocolate brown one. That's the one that I want. Although the toffee brown with that like pop of yellow, that is a pop of yellow, by the way, hip dot. That's what a pop of yellow looks like, in my opinion. Um, that pop of yellow really kind of pulls me in. But the reviews that I've watched on this kind of, I don't know, it sounds like the consistency is not there. Like one shimmer in the palette will be really great and the other one is garbage. That would irritate me, but I'm willing to risk it for that chocolate palette. So I think I want to do it. Um, anyways, it's, they're $29 a piece. And then it looks like there's brown obsession liquid matte minis. 
I would like to see swatches of those, but I see no swatches. Oh, there they are. Hi. Um, I, I think it's a set and I don't want that. I wouldn't wear two of the shades. I would wear the trendsetter and on top. Okay. Okay. I've got to get going. I've been filming for like over 40 minutes, but before I go, the last thing that I'm going to talk about these blushes. What? Look at those. Those are beautiful. I need them now. You bet your butt I'm getting these for sure. Uh, I don't know why I haven't. This was like six weeks ago. They're only $9. Anyways, it's the brand is Moira, 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 Moira. Is that it? Moira, Moira Cosmetics. Um, Sorry, my phone just gave me a little, hey, I'm dying notification anyway yes i need these jen phelps had a video on these they looked beautiful it sounds like the formula was incredible i am so picking these up so i forgot all about it until i just saw the picture i might need to place that order like today i need to look at my budget and see where i'm at for april it might have to wait until may totally fine if i if i have to wait but oh yeah yeah come to mama Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. I normally try and talk about some more indie stuff, but because it's been so long and there's so much that I missed, um, gosh, I guarantee you there's even more. There was like so much that I wanted to roast. Oh well, I can roast makeup any old day. Uh, but we're gonna leave it there for now. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I, If you made it this far, you are a rock star and I really appreciate it. So if you enjoyed, please give me a like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of this stuff and uh, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.